my name is Gilberto Martinez Jr. I like to skateboard, make music, make art, and just have a good time. A lot of my family is from Juarez, Mexico, from Chihuahua, from the Alicias, and it's a, a border town from El Paso, Texas, and just recently a lot of drug wars have been going on, and that's what influences all of us every day in our lives. It's, it's part of our lives. It's what's made us who we are today. So it's where we come from. When I first moved out here, it was just two of us. You had so much time alone to yourself and you're just walking out in the streets, like taking the metro and then you're seeing all these like billboards with like super hot chicks and like girls everywhere walking around, like just, just a crazy people as well. Like just, you see the evil. There's a lot of evil out here, but there's also a lot of good, you know? So the inspiration is endless. There's inspiration everywhere. There's people that skate so good and you see them and it's just like, whoa, like that's how you do it. And then there's like, everywhere you look, there's a place to skate. There's rails, there's handrails, there's wall rides. There's all kinds of good shit everywhere out here. Started out at Blade and Skate and this one guy, Mark Martinez, and he started this skate shop called Knuckle Board Shop. And from that, uh, it turned into a print shop. And just from that, it's just, it, it helped us grow and think of new ideas. New he points. inspired uh, all of us basically just to inspire ourselves and to keep going with, with our dreams and not give up, you know? The more you paint, the more, the better I got at it, just as with skating. Like at first I sucked and then like I kept doing it and doing it and doing it, and just picked up and it, it kept working. I was just like, that's what I needed. It's like music, skateboarding, and art. I needed an outlet to express myself. It's like when you're doing work, you're gonna, you're gonna find yourself to the point where like you completely forget about everything. You forget about your phone, you forget like talking to someone, like you may end relationships, like there's friends that you miss, there's so much family that you miss. I think that's the biggest struggle and like that's what makes you an artist. It's like, it's what makes you a painter. You paint how you're feeling that day and it's like, that's the hardest part, just not getting to see the people you've been seeing your whole life and like you can only communicate with them through the phone. Like that's the biggest struggle, just like staying strong to your, your path and like knowing that it's all gonna be good in the end and like all this work, you're gonna bring it back. Like you could either have it all or you could either like throw it all to shit. So whether it's gonna work or not, it's up to you. Like you have the vision, you have it up here and you're seeing it and you're like, yeah, I see myself doing this and that. And it's like, all right, now I need to open my eyes and like do what I see it. If you're just not gonna do it and you're just gonna sit there and like, keep dreaming about it then it won't come to you if you're just gonna sit there like wake up and live like just wake up get up be super positive for sure like don't let all these all the negativity bring you down like of course that's gonna make you stronger but if you if you're just so strong in your mind that it's possible that you're gonna do it then you will achieve it you're gonna there's no question about it that you're gonna make it like for sure so yeah, just wake up and live it. Just wake up and live your vision. See it happen, and then once you live it, it's gonna happen right in front of your eyes, and you're not gonna have your eyes closed. It's gonna be right there going on. So just wake up and live.